Before I begin, I feel I ought to get acquainted with my four participants. What is your name, please? Pat Niderlach. Pat, nice to meet you. Randy Sergeant. Randy, thanks for coming up. Judy. Jim Higgins. Jim. All right. I'd like to acquaint you with uh, our working materials. What we're going to be using are some symbols. Now, these are what are commonly referred to as ESP symbols. These are symbols used in laboratories and universities around the world, and they've been in use for over 50 years. They were developed at Duke University in the United States in the parapsychology laboratories headed by Dr. Joseph B. Ryan. And they are used because they're very easy to concentrate upon and therefore very good for experiments along the lines of ESP and psychology and intuition. Let me show you what the symbols are. They're very simple, as I have explained. We have a square. We have a plus sign. Uh, we have a circle. Let's see. Uh, three wavy lines and a star. Five simple symbols, each one repeated five times, making for a pack of 25 such symbols. Now, to start off, I'm going to try something out, and I will try this with, uh, with Judy. Judy, I brought with me one additional card, but it comes from a different pack. You can tell that because it's far larger than the others, and I'm going to give that over to uh, Randy. Would you please just take charge of that? I'm going to take the rest of the cards, these 25 here, and I'm going to simply deal them off the deck. And as I do, you may call out stop at any time you take the notion. Now. Are you sure? I can put a card back if you like. All right. Would you like me to? Put one back. All right. I can take a card off again, or I can put a further card back. It's up to you. No. Now, which card did you mean, this one here or this one here? Which card do you feel you stopped at, the one on the table or the one here? The one there. The one there. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to call to your attention something very important, which is that the young lady has had every possible opportunity to change her mind and to make sure that this is her own free and uninfluenced decision. You'll agree to that? Right. All right. You've stopped me on a star. Now, it could have been any of these symbols because you'll notice that they're all different. But in fact, you have stopped me on the star. Before we began, I took one symbol and placed it aside. Randy, would you do me the honors? Turn it over. A star. Thank you. Now I think you understand the type of thing that we're going to be doing with these symbols, and I'd like to try something else. Let me work with the set of... Uh, five of the symbols to make things nice and simple. Five possible symbols, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, one of these people is going to do something with them. And for this particular experiment, I'm going to pick uh, Pat. Pat, if you take the five and mix them up so that the order is not only unknown to me, but also to you, so that no one here could possibly know the sequence that those five symbols are now in. Tell me when you're satisfied. You're satisfied now. Would you grab one at random, anyone, and uh, if you would look at it, but don't show it around, do not let the camera see it, do not let any of the other participants see it, tell me when you yourself know what it is. Okay. Would you replace it among the others? Now, Pat, as we've only got five symbols and you've placed it on the bottom, you've made it far too easy, you'd better mix them again so that the location is totally lost. And then rather than my handling the symbols, I'm going to ask you to hand them over to Jim. Jim, Jim would you take the five and deal them out in front of you, face down in a row, in any order you like? At this moment, I think you will have to agree, Jim, that there's no way that anybody could be sure as to which symbol is where. Right. And the only one who would know which symbol belongs to Pat is Pat herself. Right. And even she doesn't know where her symbol is because the cards are faced out. You must trust your own intuition here, Jim. But I must find out from you if you are right-handed or left-handed. Right. Right-handed. In that case, would you take your left hand and push one of the five forward? Are you sure about that? You may change your mind. That's the card. All right, take your right hand and push a different one forward, please, from anywhere. Now, you've pushed two of them forward, and I, I want it quite clear. I didn't make you choose those two. Did I? No. All right. Would you like to exchange either of those two for the three remaining, or are those the two you're happy with? I think I'll change the first one. I All right, out. please do. Now, you're satisfied with those two? Yes. I could not have possibly made you pick those two. No. All right. 
We'll put these three away. You pick up the two that you like, but do not look at them. Just hold one in either hand. This is an impulse decision. When I snap my fingers, you must give one away to me. But please, it must be your own choice. Not my decision, yours. Are you sure? Yes. You're positive? Absolutely. Would you like to trade? Not at all. All right. You're holding one symbol, and in just a moment, I'm going to ask you to look at it. But before I do two things, first of all, I must know, was that your own decision? Yes. I didn't make you take, uh, take that symbol for yourself. No, you didn't. It was your own choice. Yep. You'll also recall that Pat is thinking of a symbol. She's the only one who knows what it is. Nobody knows what that symbol is. Your own intuition has led you to take it. Correct. What symbol are you thinking of, Pat? Do you want me to say it? Yes. An O. A circle. circle. How did you do? <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm going to work very quickly here. I'm going to deal out two sets of the symbols, one for Randy and one for myself. Let me see if, uh, what am I missing here? And we need a couple of stars, all right? And an, another star. All right. A set of five symbols for me, a set of five symbols for Randy. Randy, I'm going to ask if you would, just look them over, let me arrange them in a row in front of you. This is a very simple game. We're going to do this as quickly as possible, Randy. I am going to take one of my five and try and send it to you. In other words, I'm trying to send the thought of one of these five symbols from my mind to yours, and it will be this one. I'm placing it on the table. Would you now touch any one of the five you like? No. Nope. You went too fast. I will tell you right off the bat, you're wrong. Try it again. Any one of the five right now. Better. You got a better feeling about that? It was, it was more to your liking, I hope? Yes. OK. Let's keep going. Remember, these two are our first set of possibilities. Now, I will take out one more symbol and place it down here. Whichever of the four remaining you think is that one, push it forward. Are you positive? Yes. You have a very good feeling about it? Yes. All right. One more time, right here. You may change your mind if you wish. I will. You don't have to. No, I will. OK. That's more like it. All right. Now, at this point, people do have a tendency to sort of uh, freeze up. They get nervous. Don't be nervous about it, because it's, it's no more difficult now that we're down to the last two as it, as it was in the first place. It's merely a question of the order that the last two are going to be in, Randy, so right. there's nothing to be nervous about. Okay. All right, this one. I've placed on, obviously, either the star or the circle. Are you positive about that? You're reaching for the star, but are you sure? You can change your mind, or you can take the star. I don't want to influence you. It's your decision. I'll go with the star. All right, which, of course, leaves in my hand? The circle. The circle, that's absolutely correct. Now, I'm gathering these up in just the order that they were, that they were placed. The, the circles, of course, are on top. We just saw them. Prior to that, do you remember what you put down? The star. The star, which was nice because it matched mine. And then before that, the waves, waves and before that, the plus signs. And prior to that, we started off both with the squares. Congratulations to you, Randy. You did very well. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.